Do you get frustrated by having all your bait die in your bait bucket, even though you're pretty good about dumping the water in and out? Well, I've got a solution for you that's even better than my last solution. I like these Fraybill bait buckets. The key reason is that the door opens to the inside, so there's no risk of the bait getting away. But the problem is, I don't see any flow through here. It's got these holes right here on the back, but nothing elsewhere. So the water goes in and just kind of gets captured down here at the bottom. Now on my last hack, I said, well, let's try and fix that a little bit. And I drilled all these holes up here in the top of the bucket, as well as adding a weight that will make the bucket float flat, which puts more water in here. Otherwise, it floats all cockeyed. And you, you only have a little bit of water. Maybe you can six, I don't know, six or seven baits in there. Not much at all. But the problem with this solution is still the water is going to go in and it's going to get captured right here. So I had a brilliant idea. At least I think so. Why not drill a couple holes in the bottom? And that will allow, if you can see I've been playing with this. That will allow the water to come in. I haven't drilled holes up here yet. The water to come in up here, come here, and then flow out down here. And that will keep all the bodily waste that the bait expels, because they're panicked, from accumulating in the bottom of the bucket and eventually killing them, even though there may be plenty of oxygen in there. So I ran some tests on this. And what I discovered is that stoppers will work. I, I used some of my pennies I earned here on YouTube, and I ordered a big pack of stoppers for about 10 bucks. Here's what they look like. Look at all these things. They came in sizes from seven down to triple zero. Now, depending on how big your bait is, you've got to decide how big of a hole you want to drill and then stop. Like this one, the bait could get out. Probably not with this one, but I don't have a drill this big. So what I decided to do was drill two half inch holes down here. And that's perfect for the double zero size to go in here. Now I was wondering whether this would actually hold the water because you're going to want to have the bucket straight up and down at times. You're not always going to have it in the water and need the flow through here. So I filled this up last night with water and looked at it again a couple minutes ago, all the water was in there. So these stoppers work, but I did learn a few things along the way. And let me share that with you. The first is don't take your half inch drill bit, if that's what you're going to use with these double zeros, and go straight in with it. Because the plastic is going to go all screwed up and get peeled all around. So start with smaller sizes and then work up to the half inch. The other point, and you can make as many of these holes down here as you want, but the other thing that I, we needed to solve is what happens when the stopper comes out? Now when you're not using these things, you don't want them bouncing around in the bottom of your kayak because you're just going to lose them. So what I did is I got some of these small eye hooks and I put those in the top and what I'll do is I'll run a piece of line, I'll tie it off here, and then I'll tie it to a swivel and I'll hook the swivel on the end one while running the line through each of the other uh, stoppers. And that way when I pull them out, they'll all just kind of gather up down here at the bottom. They'll be out of the way. No complex knots. And then when I need them again, it's just a matter of separating them out, plugging them back in. You all got swivels. They're all over the place. So I think this idea is going to be huge. Now, bait doesn't get back in the area here until mid-June, so I won't be able to really give it a good test until then. But I just don't see why it wouldn't work, and I wanted to give you guys a heads up on this hack early. What do you think? Throw it in the comments below. Thanks.